in the red. Joby Wilson in the blue. And outside of Devontae Waters, Joby Wilson also impressed me so far in this group, Greg. But this is a nice little matchup. These yeah, days. that's a fair observation, Malcolm. It's going to be nice. It's going to be a good fight. And what you're going to see is, a, is, a, is effectively a, a clutch of styles. Joby is going to have to move around against a fighter who can actually move. And he's bigger. And as you said about that movement, he had to there because yeah. Joe, <laughs> aggressive as he was in yeah. the first round there. Good movement here. Good movement from Joby. Well, again, good. Um, Joe Rulcliffe has got great, great kicking ability. Oh, it's good. Nice clean point. Nice pick. And if you notice there, Malcolm, what he did, he changed stance, step back and punch. Nice point. Nice point. Good form. Yes, group two shaping up very nicely. It's like the heat is turning up here. Group one, to be fair, they seemed to feel the pressure. They did. The they did. I mean, these two, these, this group has had time to actually, you know, to settle down, watch the fights and just get themselves warmed up properly. Again, again, good, good Kazamazuki there. Good Kazamazuki there from Joe. So what would you like to see from Joby? Because he, he showed well in the opening. He did, he, but that's what he needs to do, though. What he's doing, he's not doing anything wrong. He's just got a really good fighter in Joe Ra Rawcliffe. He's not doing anything wrong. He's breaking the line. He's trying to come inside. But Joe, what Joe's doing is that when he's breaking the line, Joe is changing stance and countering. And I so think he caught him then. And yeah, we got the nosebleed there. Um, as, as you said, as Joby moved, it was that timing from Joe again and the accuracy. That's exactly it. No, but we have got the nosebleed here, Greg. But his timing is made by him changing stance. So as Joby's attacking him, he's changing stance and he's got the capacity to fight in both sides, which again is a tremendous asset. And he actually knows what technique to throw when he changed stance. I was going to say, stance. he created room for himself, yes. didn't he? He knew he was doing great. Very the room, true, And then the, the shot came exactly. back. Exactly, very true. That's exactly what he did. Joe's, Joe's the sort of fighter I can look at and just know that he's got good solid karate good solid karate you can see it in the execution of his technique and in the application of the uh, application of techniques as well very very good and that's another thing we need to pick up on here Greg because we've seen a lack of it in in, in group one sometimes is also mat awareness which Joe showed perfectly definitely there. definitely he, he, he's got great movement the great spatial awareness he knows what's around him and he actually can see what what Joby's doing with the movement and he's countering it strategically he's not responding to him he's countering it strategically sometimes when two fighters come out one will change stance the other one will just change stance because they've changed stance but he changes stance when it's right for him to score and i think that's um where you've seen a really good solid fighter well it seems like um joby's good to go knows we cleaned up yeah, it would be a shame if he went out that way, even if he goes out, because this has been a good match. It has he been. showed well in the previous one. Yep. Uh, I would, if I was Joe, I'd start off the, off the, off the face, or the punches anyway, and, just li then, then, and literally just look to pick points to the body or to take him down. He's a, he's a heavier fighter. He needs to just assert himself a little bit more. Again, again that's what he needs to do. Just He needs to just keep the pressure on Joe B's. He's a heavier fighter. You should be impre you should be com controlled in the middle of the mat. Oh, oh and there again. again with the as you said, Beautiful. the timing. Yeah. He creates that space he for does. himself. Greg. He does because what he does, he faints in, comes out, and then and then lifts the legs. So he draws the fighter in. And Joby having problems containing so, that nosebleed, but yeah. that's the adrenaline flowing. It that's is, of course, it is. It's a, uh, it's, it is, it is just part and parcel of of um, of um, doing karate, doing competition. Now, I don't like to preempt things, but if they go the way they are, a, a matchup to reach the semi-final between Joe Rawcliffe and Devonte Waters could be a very exciting prospect. It'd be a very good. good I, I suspect that would be a really good match if that does happen, because Joe is getting better and Devonte is on fire. Well, they're just taking Joby off the mat to get cleaned up. But as you said, Joe 
his spatial awareness, his timing, his targeting, it's all coming together. It is. And it's coming together at the right time, whereas with Devonte, we thought, wow, this is straight off the mark. That's it. And J Devonte's come out of the blocks. He is really fired up. But look at Joe. Look at his temperament. Look at his focus. That's what Devonte needs to understand. He needs to be much more composed and strategic against um, someone like Joe if he gets him in the next round. Because Joe is not going to be um, he's not going to be sort of like in, in, a, in a heightened state. He will stay measured and composed. And as I always say to athletes, composure wins championships, not ability. Ability gets you there. Composure wins champ championships. So understand who's in front of you. Fight accordingly. Okay, they're back. To, they're good to go. JB's patched up again. He's running out of time, though. He is. He is. Again, nice speed there, nice speed there. With the kick, nice. Good fight. 